Hi, my name is Tony, and today I will show you how to create overlapping design elements in Chameleon. We'll be recreating a beautiful email sent by all birds to demonstrate this cool design hack. First, we'll start by building the different email blocks that constitute the email. Using the right hand panel, change the email width to 510 pixels. I have already designed the first block of the email and saved it, so I can simply drag and drop it to reuse in this email. Next, add a text element in a new block. Add top and bottom paddings and change the block's background color. Copy paste the text and choose the right font, line height, color and padding from the right hand panel. Now we will move on to creating the inner layout. I simply duplicate the text element I just created and made some changes to the content. Now we are creating the block that will only be displayed on mobile. Drag and drop a new box above the first text element. Adjust the padding and add a multi-column element. Change the width of the first column and select Don't Reorder on mobile to maintain the same order of the columns on both desktop and mobile devices. Add an image to the left column, align it to the left and add a top margin. Double click on the image to open the gallery and choose your image. Slide the text element that we created earlier and insert it in the right column. Drag another image element and drop it at the bottom of the block. Then align it to the right and add left and bottom margins. Double click to open the gallery and select your image. Finally, we will add the call to action by dragging and dropping a button element. Again, you can edit the buttons, background color, spacing and border radius from the settings in the right hand panel. Double click on the CTA to edit the text. Now, this is the most important part to create the overlapping design. Select the block and navigate to block settings on the right panel, then scroll down and switch off the show on desktop option. This will make the block we just designed show only on mobile and disappear on desktop. But now we need to design the block that will show on desktop and hide on mobile. So simply duplicate the block and reverse the element visibility. So switch off show on mobile and switch on show on desktop. Next we will make the necessary changes to adapt this block's design. In the content settings, adjust paddings and make the block's background color transparent. Then select the background image from the gallery. Change the position of the image to center top, then simply delete the images we added at the very beginning of the design process. If we click on preview, you can see how the email design changes on mobile and on desktop. But we're not done yet. Add a multi-column element and select Don't Reorder Columns. Grab a text element and align it to the right and edit the text settings. Select the block from the breadcrumb menu on top and change the paddings and background color. Drag and drop the social elements and choose the icon set style color scheme, alignment, size, and icon spacing. And finally, adjust the width of the left side column and you can see that the email is automatically mobile responsive, meaning that the email blocks are adjusted according to the device type. Grab an image element and drop it right before the social share block. Open the gallery and select the product image. Finally, go to the saved blocks section and select the footer, which is a block we usually reuse in all emails. So making it a saved, reuse, reusable block is very useful and time efficient. From the email editor view, you have two similar duplicated blocks, but when previewed on mobile and desktop, only one block will appear and the other email blocks, including the product images and the footer, will be displayed as usual on both types of devices. 
After every successful email design session, you can sync your email to your ESP or CRM or simply export your HTML. As you can see here, all these email blocks and settings add up to only 24 kilobytes. So the email size is very small, yet the email is still highly responsive and looks great both on mobile and desktop. Thank you for watching and check out our YouTube channel for more useful email design hacks.